boy, here we go. Give you guys a view of the new property I just purchased. I've only, I've probably worked here about 40 hours so far, just uh, making some repairs so the roofers could get the new roof on, which I will show you later. So this is the living room, some water damage right there. There was a paneling in this living room. I removed all that. It's colder in here than it is outside. But a couple lights <laughs> set up trying to get because this uh, window's busted out. But kind of get a view. This is the kitchen slash laundry room right there. Kind of get a view of it. Let me know what you guys think that is. I have a guess of what that is, but this is the first one I've ever seen. So, if you link down below in the comments of what you think that is. I also too, this is my first time. Hope you guys can see that. This is the only register in the whole house. It's my first time seeing one of these too. If you know what this is, write it down in the description. Let me know. So here we go, going down the hallway. Have a bath. I'm gonna come back to that. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. Here's the first bedroom. So there's drywall behind all this, but I'm not sure what kind of condition it's in. It looks like it needs some work, but this corner right here, there's definitely some uh, some issues going on with this wall. The I already know that the seal plate and um, rim joist and the floor joist in that area are rotted out. I've not been in the attic yet, so second bedroom. Kind of jumped around there. Just you guys kind of a view. I don't know if I have this. Sorry, I thought I heard something outside. It's kind of creepy being in these places. Bedroom number three. Not much work here, just a little bit. <laughs> it's a three bedroom, one bath, kitchen and living room. This is the bathroom. Needs a little bit of work. Hopefully this video turns out better than my others. I've been trying to figure out why my camera is glitching. So, hoping that this one turns out good. So, yeah. Probably going to take this down. Um, you'll see I'm gonna have a full series on this house on remodeling it, but this um, bathroom's in pretty rough shape, so probably end up taking that down to the studs. Um, I do not, I do not just come into these properties and start ripping everything out. Um, I do try to save as much, as much as I possibly can. Um, you start coming in here, ripping things out, just start tearing everything. Uh, it creates a lot of extra work that it could have been possible not to have to do. Uh, I am planning to um, bring you guys along, bring you guys along for that whole series on renovating this entire property. Um, yeah.
So here I am in the living room, in the corner where it's all rotted out. I, at least, from what I can see, it's all rotted out. I'm going to take out some drywall here to um, expose this wall because I do think there's some rot here just to figure out what's going on. Here's a quick little update. Ended up having to remove the hardwood floor because in that corner, it's just so rotten. There's a lot of moisture underneath the, the wood floor from where the that area was leaking. Um, ended up, I'm going to take up all of this floor, probably end up laying OSB. Um, there's a few other spots where the roof the roof was leaking and this corner also driven down on the floor and had rotted it out so all this stuff will get moved and i will end up um taking all this floor up and probably end up laying osb once i get all these repairs done turned into a lot bigger job than what I thought, but hey, it was all rotted. I mean, this part, this part here is pretty solid, but I'm just going to put all new subfloor down.